crack a lacking vehicle, I hope him tonight, man. Make some noise for my creed of dog. This guy drives me mad, week in, week out. Yeah. Oh, sweet Roger Lee. Some beautiful ladies all out in this motherfucker tonight. Mm. Mm -mm. Brother may have to sit tonight. It's Lord. It's Lord. Mm -mm. Ladies, make some noise for your pretty girl in the house tonight. Make some noise right now. That's it? That's that's all I get? Like, like that's, that's just it? So I'm going to have to force the noise out of you ladies here tonight. Okay. Okay, watch this. Okay, this works all the time. <clears throat> ladies, if your pussy stinks, stay quiet. <laughs> Much better. See? Crowd work at its best. Take some notes, motherfuckers. <laughs> Quick question, do you guys ever eat at these restaurants that have um, uh, that have an all employees must wash their hands before getting back to work sign so supposed to be in the bathroom? You guys know what I'm talking about? It's be like a big ass sign in the bathroom that says all employees must wash their hands before getting back to work. Everybody knows what I'm talking about, right? Okay. This is what I always ask myself every time I see those things. What the fuck was going on in here before this sign actually went up? You know what I mean? Like when motherfuckers start to walk around with shit stains on their aprons and shit. So, like, so they have to put a sign in the bathroom to remind motherfuckers they should wash their hands after taking a shit. Like when niggas just go to the bathroom and they're like, oh, 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 yeah, oh, oh, oh. <sighs> 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 Hello, welcome to Subway. How may I help you? Like, what the fuck, man? Like, to me, like, the whole concept is just inconceivable. Like, unless you were raised by a pack of fucking emus, there is no reason why your mother should not have told you that it is compulsory to wash your hands after using the fucking bathroom. Like, especially if you work in the food industry. Who here works in the food industry? Make some noise right now. Who, who here works? Okay. Does your staff, that, does your manager call a staff meeting on Monday morning to remind you that you should be a decent fucking human being? Like, like is that how it works? Like, I could literally see some guy coming down from corporate and being like, all right, all right, bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I feel like I have a bit of alarming news. Um, turns out the Ebola outbreak in town started right here in this restaurant, so... I'd like to please ask everybody to have the ability to wash your doggone hands before going back to making these sandwiches. You know what I mean? And you know there's some dumb motherfucker in the back who had to raise his hands and ask a question. And if you're wondering who that dumb motherfucker is, it's probably you, if you're wondering. Like, literally, he had to put his hand up. Excuse me, uh, manager, sorry, good question. Um, do these new rules and regulations apply to both number ones and number twos? Or is there some form of gray area we can kind of work around here? Okay, I uh, see you guys do not wash your hands. Okay, um, let's move on. Make some noise if you're a high than a motherfucker right now. Make some noise if you're high as fuck right now. Good shit, man. I really applaud you. It has now been 9 hours, 32 minutes, and 19 seconds since I made the firm decision of stopping all consumption of marijuana. I'll tell you why. Thank you for asking. That was actually where it was going. Okay, I just moved to Ottawa from Toronto about four months ago, okay? I don't know what the fuck it is that you people are smoking here, but this shit is too strong for me, man. I, I can't do it. Like, I can't, it literally, like, every time a Toronto nigga hands me a blunt and I hit it, I immediately feel the need to Google whatever the fuck was in that blunt that this nigga just handed me. Just like... <laughs> Why do I feel the urge to hurt small animals every time I smoke Toronto weed? Like, it's some crazy shit, man. I smoked some weed that was so strong the other day that I had nightmares for a whole entire week after sobering up. Real talk, it's not even a joke. Like, one of the dreams was so fucked up. Like, I had a dream that I managed some way, somehow, to land myself on the FBI's most wanted list, and they had to send the gas from Criminal Minds to come and get me. Like, like, okay, first of all, let's, let's get the obvious out of the way here, people, okay? I'm too cute to go to fucking jail, okay? Let's, 
Let's just get it out of the way right now. Apparently, adorability is not a trait that fares well in prison. Like, it's just one of those things. Second of all, sending the guys from Criminal Minds to come get me would be a major waste of manpower. Like, it would literally take them 35 seconds to track me down. I use my debit card for everything. Like, just everything. Like, as soon as they hop off the jet, they're just pulling out their phones. Um, Hutch, we got a hit. This thing is at a 7-Eleven around the corner. He just bought a purple Slurpee and some Pringles. He's probably higher than a motherfucker. We better send in tactical. You know what I mean? Crazy shit. Any fans of Google in the house tonight? Anybody, any Google fanatics? Anybody who Googles everything? Make some noise if you're a Google fanatic in the house tonight, yeah? I, I'm that guy who Googles everything. Like, let's say if I tell you something and you don't believe me, I'm that guy who always ends my statements like, oh yeah? Google that shit then, nigga. If you don't believe me, go ahead. Google that shit right now. Like, what the fuck? You don't believe me? You better Google that motherfucker. Like, <laughs> like literally, though, I have one beef with Google, people. Just one single problem, okay? I feel like Google has been killing our youth for the last decade or so. And this is why. Google is not a doctor, people. Okay? I want to repeat this. Google is not a doctor. I have to find out the hard way that it does not necessarily know what that rash on your balls is, despite of how descriptive you might get in a search engine. It just, it just doesn't know. Like, you never want to be that guy that picks up a girl at the bar, you're all drunk as fuck. True story. And right when you bring her home and she's about to suck your dick, you catch yourself having to explain to her how the bump on your dick is harmless because you're good with it. It's, it just never works. You're just like, no, baby. Why are you asking so many questions? I googled it, it's nothing, eh? Hey, you suck. You got a phone? Google that shit? No, it's nothing. That's my time, y'all. I'm Robbie Hollywood. Appreciate the love.